If you ever wanted to know how to install this monster on this telescope, I will at least try to show you now. Let's go. Hello, this is View Into Space. I'm Sasha from Switzerland. This is my telescope. This is the wedge. And so, Grüezi miteinander. Thanks for watching my channel. And now, let's do it. Okay, disclaimer, I haven't done that yet. And actually, I wanted to look at it in YouTube and couldn't find any tutorial which would show me how. And so I thought, I will do that now and I will lead you through my whole emotional and you know experience that I have while doing it. So what did I get from Celestron? I got this. Luckily, I got it from a local shop. The big shops, they deliver about in two or three months again, these things, so I was very lucky. I got a manual and I got a million of, and I think even some redundant screws and tools to do that from Celestron. So I read already through the manual, and so I hope I know what I have to do. So first thing they say is I have actually to move this fully up. Because you see, here we have this, this screw. And this belongs up here, so it wouldn't fit in the packaging otherwise. So this is what I have to do first. So I have to screw this as much to the back that it actually fits over this part. Now it goes up. Okay. So now we can move this up and screw this obviously the other way around again. Okay, now comes the next fun. They say, I don't know why they already inserted them, but I have to remove these screws so that I can afterwards fit this in this here. Another tedious job. So they say you leave the, the last screw, the most lower screws, you leave them in. So what you can do now, you can spread it like this. Now I need this things again. Put it on here. Put it on here. Doesn't matter, just put it aside. So it looks safe. Okay, so let's try that. If I can squeeze this in. Now you see there are three different holes. And you have to read it. It depends on the declination of where you have to put it in of your location. So that really depends. Alright, yes, that works. Okay, that's it. Okay. okay. So now the whole thing is ready. So probably we'll start with the top screw and it's just so it's like this is ready now. So I can so according to some restaurant, the next thing is I have to remove my dear telescope. Now we have to install the wedge to the tripod. So. so it has six holes here, and here are three. So the same one way to install it is that actually this is between two legs. And the other way you can install it is in a way that this is actually standing on a leg, they say. So we're going to see if this works. Now for that we have three screws here. I will do it like this. So I let the screws fall into these holes. Take again one of these, let's hope it's, it's the right one.
I think this video will be mostly about me putting screws in. So this is rock solid. Good. So now what we have left is these three. And you know, just to explain you, what I was really wor worried of is this is now on a on an angle. So I was worried it's already difficult to put this telescope, which is quite heavy, on the level tripod. But now actually doing it on the level, and probably the level will be more than it's now, that might be kind of scary doing it alone. So what they actually did is this hole here is like you, you slide it in. So you put one screw on the top of the telescope and you slide this thing in. And that should make it easy and manageable with one person to, to screw it on and we'll see if that works. So they actually recommend that before we're doing that now, I have to put this on the right because that seems to be easier when it's done while if before the telescope is on. So in the meantime, I actually got gloves because otherwise I have tomorrow no hands in. This is annoyingly hard. 7.5. There you go. Okay. Now that I found this, this was really hard. <laughs> no good. Okay. Now comes this very, very interesting point putting the telescope. On this. Let's see how good this works. So, what they say is you take one of these and you put it where the handle is. Take the telescope and to lie it down. Now where the handle is, which is here, approximately, I'll definitely put it in here that it can carry the weight. So let's try that. To be quite honest, I'm a little bit nervous here. So they say to move it up like this here. Now I have read it in here, which I have done. And this in here, let's screw it a little bit more in, make it a little bit more comfortable. Let's take down that another one. So I look the thing a little bit skeptical. So now the question is, will I be able to still lift this thing? Yeah. So the finding is, yes, it's still possible to lift. It's damn heavy, but actually, given you have now these great places to lift, it's probably even easier than before, I think. So I probably will shoot another video to show you how to use the thing, my experience with it. But now I think for the for YouTube premiere, you have seen how this thing gets installed. And that's it. See you in another video and clear skies.